Thank you so much for once again joining me, the underscore dab86, as we go over our guide for an easy build for your sorcerer or sorceress. I don't have anything that's really provocative as far as increasing the build. Uh, barrier, chance to ignore incoming damage from distant enemies. Um, increased crowd control duration and deal 35, increased damage to unstoppable. Frozen orb stays in place. Damage and Elite grants you a barrier, which this actually was phenomenal. It allowed me to solo the Butcher at level 8. And then, of course, while enemies are affected by more damage over time than their total life, you deal 70% increased burning damage to them. So that was uh, kind of nice for a little bit of the fire damage. Attacks increase with basic skill, increase your damage on your next core ability. And then, of course, we stack there so it does not allow it to devil up. Now, looking at the build itself... I started up here with Firebolt, going with the Enhanced Firebolt, Flickering Firebolt for the extra mana when hitting a burning enemy, and of course, that allows it to pierce through, hitting more enemies and burning more, and getting me more mana. From here, I went with Chain Lightning, because this thing is devastating, especially with Enhanced Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning gains a 3% increased critical strike chance per bounce, and Greater Chain Lightning, if Chain Lightning bounces off of you, its next hit deals 25% increased damage. Phenomenal on bosses, or if you're dealing with an Elite that it no longer has anything else alive around it. Really increases that damage of it. Phenomenal. Went with Ice Armor, so that way I get Enhanced Ice Armor for the uh, Mono Regeneration when it's active. And then enemies that hit you while Ice Armor is active have a 15% to become Frozen. Because there will be mobs that can manage to get near you no matter how hard you try. And then, of course, I went with Hydra because it is a constant damage that you just have to put down until its duration is done. Uh, while healthy, it has four heads instead of three. And then, of course, Summon Hydra also burns enemies for an additional 12 of its base damage dealt over six seconds because of the one ability. Invoked Hydra is also not bad if you crit as well. And then I went with Blizzard, because with that and most dungeons having doorways, you just cast Blizzard in the doorway, and it snags most of the things with Hydra. You don't even have to enter the room, and it clears it with it. Enhanced Blizzard. Blizzard deals 25% increased damage to frozen enemies. And when cast above 50 mana, Blizzard's duration is increased by 4 seconds, for a total of 12 seconds. And then for my ultimate, I went with Inferno, uh, Prime Inferno, and then Supreme Inferno. Now, Supreme Inferno is not really helping me because I don't really have a lot of fire stuff besides Hydra, and I'm not going to be spamming putting it down. But I saw no reason not to go for that last point in case we did ever need to change the build as we go down the road. But with that pull-in, you can use it coupled with Blizzard, and it just devastates. And then, of course, with your original Fire Bolt, it's passing through all those enemies in one big cluster, stacks a ton of damage, phenomenal. As far as eventually when we get the ultimate passives, let's see, I would probably say combustion because you'd be getting it from that, from the snake, and then also from that. If you continue with this build to the, for seven more levels, and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it. As soon as we can find some mobs. Assuming I don't lag out too much. That. Nice and stacked, and then just roast. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. Nothing else to it. Just keep your Hydra down. Use your Blizzard when it's multiple enemies or enemies that you don't want getting close to you so that way they can freeze. Spam your Chain Lightning for a devastating amount of damage bounced back between you or other enemies. And when you need extra mana, use your Ice Armor. Simple as that. If you, if you found the guide helpful, make sure to hit that like, leave a comment, ring the bell, and come follow me on Twitch at the underscore dab 86.